Hi everyone, welcome back to Plant Boy. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for sticking around and watching the content and hopefully supporting it if you are enjoying the content as well as spreading kindness and things like that. Kindness goes a long way in this time where we are totally divided and chaos seems to be more common than any kind of order or kindness. So it does not go unnoticed and I'm sure fellow members of the community also notice it as well. So this is your reminder to spread kindness and be yourself because everybody else is taken. <laughs> Anyways, today's video is going to be about my five favorite house plants at the moment. These are some of the best performing house plants that I have, also kind of unique and um, ones that I'm just really enjoying caring for and having in my space right now. So first and foremost, we got the Monstera Deliciosa. This thing, I'm gonna try to bring it into view as best I can here. But this thing is an absolute behemoth. Um, we have the newest leaf up here. It has all of these beautiful fenestrations close to the center of its leaves. Its aerial roots are going crazy. Um, yeah, really love this plant. The Monsteras get absolutely gigantic, uh, which can make them not ideal for smaller spaces. But if you have a large space that you're willing to fill out with a single plant and you are patient and you have a decent amount of bright and direct light, um, Monsteras are great choices and they have a very interesting appeal to them, as I'm sure you can see. I feel a little crowded here. But the next plant that I'm going to talk about, this is the string of turtles. I do have a care guide on this plant uh, that I will link right here that will show up at the eye there that you can click on. This is a really interesting plant. It has some really interesting foliage, like little turtles. They look like little turtle shells. Um, very fast growing plant from my experience. I have noticed a bit of dropping of the foliage. So these little turtle shells, we'll call them, do drop off occasionally. I don't think it's anything to be concerned about considering how much the growth is happening versus how much is falling off. It's negligible really. Um, but yeah, very, very fast grower and very visually interesting as well. It makes a great um, trailing plant as well as a really great ground cover plant in its natural habitat, which I believe is Brazil, if I can remember correctly back to that video. But yeah. Definitely a popular house plant right now and for a very good reason. The next house plant that I will mention is the variegated string of hearts. And this is a clip of what that plant looks like. This was featured in my gayest house plants video. Um, this might look uh, kind of silly to people that don't know who this or what this plant is, or if you're kind of new to the plant community, you're like, wow, really one strand of this little pathetic plant is one of your favorites. Um, it absolutely is. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. These are pretty hard to get your hands on, but I just love the aesthetic of them. They're really not too hard to take care of, provided that you have lots of bright and direct light. They really prefer a decent amount of uh, light. And I do have this under a grow light and it seems to be preferring that. So as this gets longer and longer, honestly, I'll probably see more growth push out from the petiole or where it was originally propagated, like the node down there. I noticed that with the non-variegated string of hearts that I have, it was originally one strand, and then it started pushing out more strands from that same spot as it got longer. But I will propagate this as needed. And these can go for really a lot of money if they're longer, but really beautiful house plant. Granted that you are patient enough to let it fill out if you can't get your hands on one that is very full. Next is going to be the, Raphid the Raphidophora tetrasperma. This is also known as the mini monstera. This is a really interesting houseplant just because of the foliage that it has. It has these really interesting, I don't know if you would call these fenestrations, I suppose that you would, um, but these really interesting cutouts in the leaves. Very visually interesting plant makes a really great trailing basket plant or a really excellent climber as well, which is what we have going on here. 
I actually found this really interesting copper wire in my home here and I decided to use that as a plant stake. <laughs> Definitely not the intended purpose, but I thought it would look really interesting, especially once I get it out of this nursery pot, which will be very soon here. I don't see any, yeah, there's some roots starting to come out the bottom. So this guy will be repotted in the spring once the warmer weather comes back around. Um, the main reason why I like this plant is because it is such a fast grower. I got this whenever it was probably a third of the size, not even. There were probably three bottom leaves, so it was probably really this tall whenever I first got it, and that was back maybe six months ago. Um, so they, these grow very, very fast and also very, uh, very visually interesting as well. And last, but certainly not least, on my favorite houseplant list currently is going to be the Hoya Carnosa tricolor. I believe this is a cultivar also known as Crimson Queen. Uh, and it gets its name for a very good reason. It has these really beautiful variegated leaves that uh, go from dark green to kind of a mint green to a kind of cream color. And there's also pink foliage that you can see in certain parts of the plant. Not sure how well we can see this, but this is a kind of off pink leaf. Um, and granted that these guys are getting enough light, this is also known as a wax plant is the common name, the non-variegated one. Granted that you are giving these plants enough light, they do very, very well. They do require a little bit more humidity as well from my experience. Um, this plant did come back from the porch or came off of the porch. So I've been trying to acclimate it to a little bit lower of a light scenario. So I'm not getting a whole lot of really vibrant pink growth or anything like that. There's a few uh, more red hues that pop out on the newer growth, but I would not be surprised if once warmer weather rolls around and I can get this guy in some more bright and direct light, more so than I have now, uh, we would start to see a little bit more of that red foliage start to come out. The main reason why I love this plant, as mentioned, is that it is pretty easy to take care of. It's low maintenance. You can let these uh, Hoyas dry out rather substantially because they have a delicate root system that you definitely don't want to have a lot of water around. They have that succulent type foliage, which makes it easier to neglect. Um, and very beautiful plant as well. The trailing basket kind of feature of this plant makes it very interesting to have in a corner of a room or something like that and have a cascade down. But just to recap, we have the Monstera Deliciosa, the String of Turtles, the Variegated String of Hearts, the Mini Monstera or Raphidophora Tetrasperma, and the Hoya Carnosa Tricolor or the Wax Plant, Variegated Wax Plant. Um, Again, all really cool plants, all kind of different as well in their own little way. But let me know if we share any of our favorite house plants at the time. I had plenty to choose from, but these are ones that I find easy to care for and rewarding to grow as well. Let me know if I missed any of your favorite house plants. Maybe I don't have them and I should give them a try. I will hopefully see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.